welcome. Blake Weber inspired me to do this. I really like his intros. I have a lot of empty walls at home. And as my girlfriend moved in, she brought these old fruit crates with her. And I thought to myself, why not fill the walls with them? On first inspection you can see, yeah, they suck. I think they will need a ton of work. So I start by removing the middle section. And yeah, some pieces are a bit awkward to remove. Huh. The crates looked a bit barky for my taste, so I removed the first row of slack. I want slack from the back. I wanted them to carry some weight. Had an old crate as a donor, so I used the beefier one. I added some triangular pieces for the inner shelf, and after the glue has dried, it is time for some sanding. If you want to know how to get those handy sanding pads, I'll put a link down below. Let's crack that can open and get ready for... We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Thanks, Bob. Happy accidents are indeed needed in this case, as a perfect glossy finish doesn't suit old fruit crates. And on the other hand, I'm not really into shabby shake styles. So, I was aiming for a pure white with all nades and wooden defects shining through. A few runners here and there and every surface has to be smooth to the touch. Between coats I have used my fine multi-master with 400 grit sandpaper. It only took me about 4 or... <clears throat> yeah... 5 coats and no. Nope. All this effort is still invisible. After the paint has dried, I can now fix some spacers or standoffs on the bottom. Time to decorate. I know it's nothing special, but I wanted to share it anyway. A small little project. And that wraps it up for today.